Holy crap, they are adding so many new things to the game this week. I got it all for you in one video. Let's go. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. I literally cannot believe all the things that they're adding to the game this week. It's craziness. We'll take a real quick glimpse over all of the new champions. Then I'll talk about the rest of the features that are coming this week. I'm absolutely shocked by all of the things coming to the game this week. We have Ambassador Lethalin, and this guy looks so cool. I definitely want this guy. I love him. I absolutely love him. He's got the A1 AoE decrease crit rate, and then he has a boosted chance if his uh, HP is full. He's a support-based champion, so that's pretty cool. He has the Taunt buff, which goes down to a four-turn cooldown and a Reflect damage on all allies. So this guy could be helpful in a new dungeon if they fix it. We'll go over that in a minute as well. Decreases the duration of all debuffs on all allies, which is cool. It's not a cleanse, but basically a cleanse. Then a heal. Then an extra heal on a four-turn cooldown. I like it. Very, very cool kit. The next guy is going to be Ethelin. I don't know. This guy is like a ninja. <laughs> this has got to be the uh, secret court guard. And it is great to see them adding new epics in the High Elves. That's one of the things that, as content creators, we've been pushing is High Elves need some new epics. We are getting them. A1 gets a shield on himself, which is as an attack-based champion is very cool. Uh, A2, AoE double hitter, block active skills, and then true fear. What a cool ability. We have an increased crit damage, increased accuracy, grants an extra turn ability going into this, which is amazing, and then ignores 10% of defense when attacking support defense and HP champions. I think this guy's amazing. I would love to try him out. I think he's got sweet multipliers and a freaking cool kit. I was about to be really excited when I saw that we had a new skinwalker and he looks like a freaking sweet werewolf. And then we get this. What is that? This is the worst design they've added since generic guy. This is like Eolfrig 2.0. Like, absolute fail on this Polarium. This guy is terrible. Our new Skinwalker is terrible. No, no, no. Just take this out of the game and redo it immediately. You already know how to do this. We have Brachis. Just make another version of Brachis. You could even just take the skin and re-skin it, just like you always do. No, absolutely not. This guy, terrible. Stop this immediately. Let's see what he does. He has a chance of stealing a buff. Blah. Uh, places true fear on all enemies for one turn if this attack kills a champion and an unkillable. I mean, that could be all right. He's an attack-based champion with a low base attack. Swaps HP with an enemy, then grants extra turn. I mean, there's always a lot of potential. 30% more damage against whose targets whose current HP is lower than this champion's. Swaps HP, then kills them and puts an unkillable buff on himself. Interesting. I absolutely hate this art. It's terrible. I guess it wouldn't be that bad if you're like looking at him. Put the helmet on him and then he'd be fine. Put the helmet on him that he stole. Anyway, I hate everything about that. Let's see who else. I guess it's just a boring... Are we running out of ideas here, Polarium? Like, <laughs> he has a cool shield. He's got like the most boring haircut of all time. But obviously we know how amazing he is. Okay, and it says enemy max HP. Super excited to test this. That will be coming uh, later today or tomorrow. I'll probably just drop three videos today. 
And then we have two rares that are being added to the game, both in Sylvan Watchers. We have Lone Blade Rehab, which... I don't know. He's okay. He's not the best. A1 uh, Turn Meter Fill, okay? A2 Increase Crit Rate, Decrease Defense, Weaken? I mean, it's the little version of Decrease Defense, but that seems reasonable for a rare. Each hit from this champion deals an extra 5% damage if they're under Decrease Defense or Weaken. Okay, and 10% if they're under both. Maybe he can be a DPS for Faction Wars. That's pretty cool. His stats are awful, so I don't know about that. And then the other rare is Tree Shield Knot. He looks cool. This is the coolest champion that they've added. Absolutely love everything about this. A1, okay, wait, he's a support champion. A1, triple hitter, decrease attack. AoE heal, increase defense, the small version, but still. Revives two random allies. And then speed and faction crypts. Yes, please. This rare is amazing. He is super good. You should get a copy. It's a rare reviver. I don't care if it's trash. 25% HP, 25% turn meter. That is the key to beating this faction. Um, I'm definitely going to cover that in the next couple days. I would love to see your guys' opinions on Faction Wars. Okay, so that's all of the new champions that are on here. Let's dive into what else is going on. My literal favorite thing they've ever added to the game, right here. Search by name. I would love to know if I have uh, Liarius. Yes. That is amazing, okay? Then I can just click on it. That is awesome, okay? I would love to know if I own an Astrolith. Uh, include Master Vault right there. And then hide. And then you can move it to your collection. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. And then you can just X that to clear out the filter. Complete game changer for takeovers, for your account. Oh my goodness, so good. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. You have all of these different ways to sort. Your champion tags are now meaningful in a great way. You can click all of the build threes, all the build twos. Oh, your champion tags mean something now? This is freaking amazing. Number one feature they've ever added in the game, I think. Number one. It is literally my favorite. And here's the big question. I doubt Polarium meant to leave this here. What is this resource? Prism Crystals. How do you get them? And what do they do? As far as we know, the only screen they show up on is the summoning portal, but we have no idea what this resource is or how to get it. I doubt that they meant to have it there, but that is something coming soon. Prism Crystals. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. What does it do? Why is it on this screen? Put your thoughts in the comments below because literally I have no idea. Obviously, we have the Sylvan Watchers Faction Crypt that's coming as well. Um, in case you don't know, this red boss, this is the one that ignores all of your defense. Uh, so you're going to want high HP champions. You're going to want revivers. That's great that they added that rare reviver. That's going to go really well. I'll be working on this this week for sure. And last but not least, we have dungeons, okay? We have the new Phantom Shogun's Grove. At the moment, this guy is pretty, pretty freaking easy, and you shouldn't worry about it. You can just put anyone in stone skin, and the boss will target them as long as they have the highest crit damage, and then you can do whatever else you feel like doing. Um, the content creators feel like this boss will be changed, 
pretty quickly because otherwise this is like spider 20 difficulty okay you're just nuke him down with enemy max hp champions kaimar etc um not difficult content his abilities don't matter he's basically irrelevant but the resources that you get from him i think are going to be really good so let's talk about that and wrap up the video so on your accessories you will be able to ascend them. On your rings, you can only get flat attack, flat defense, or flat HP. One of those three. Your ring is going to be the least ascended thing of all time. Okay? But on the amulet, that is where you are going to want to spend the majority of your resources here. Because you can get crit damage. Which we did. Oh my goodness, this will never happen on my my main account. <laughs> Thank you for letting us on the test server, Polarium. Make this happen for me on my main account. 12% more crit damage is just free extra damage. The other ones you can get are flat attack, flat HP, flat defense. Crit damage is what you want on every crit damage amulet. Like, I would just go ascend all of your crit damage amulets with the champions that you have nukers with crit damage amulets. Just go ascend them all, farm up a lot of little potions. What are these? They're extracts. Farm up a lot of extracts, re-roll your crit damage amulets. That's the number one thing. And then on your banner, you will want to try to get typically uh accuracy or resistance uh on this banner we would want flat attack we got defense again you can have the three flat stats and then accuracy and resistance so on your accuracy banners that would be for like your um uh, i don't even think do i have an accuracy banner here no it's attack um for your like main damage dealers Okay, so like Lydia is going to have uh, an accuracy banner here. We would want to get accuracy to go with accuracy, right? Um, resistance to go with resistance. You'll probably spend a lot of leveling up um, the first star and just testing them to make sure and see what you get. And then you'll kind of need to shuffle around your banners and your amulets. So that you get not only the right stats, but the best banners and amulets on your best champions. It's going to be difficult, right? You're not going to be able to do that for every champion. But like Kandrafon, my number one nuker, and Terrace, obviously, we're going to want crit damage, crit damage on both of those champions, right? So um, let's, let's see if we can go back to back here. Crit damage again, just to... No, okay, okay. Well, there's still a chance. Um, but anyway, I think that this is a really great feature. I hope that they change this boss so that he's more interesting and you can't cheese him with just a random stone skin set. Um, and then we can have fun and enjoy playing this dungeon, right? Uh, if there's something that I missed on the test server, please let me know. Uh, they don't, like, give us a list of all of the things. So if there's something else on here that uh, other content creators covered and you want to hear my opinion on it, let me know in the comments below, as well as letting me know what are the things you're excited about, what are you not excited about, what do you think about this patch? I didn't think we were getting all of this stuff. This is wild and crazy. I'm excited to see which champions are going to be in the fusion. And um, I'm excited for this fusion. So that's the next thing I'm going to do is go test the fusion. We're going to see how good he is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. You're amazing. Bye.